Hey, how are you doing? Uh, just doing a quick first impressions uh, video demo of demo and a kind of a half review of this uh, Harley Benton Dullahan guitar, which I uh, just picked up off Thoman. And uh, I, this is a B stock model. I was just scrolling through Thoman. I was looking for some strings and things, you know, usual bits and pieces. And I spotted this on B stock offer. So it was. 50 euros off the normal price or thereabouts which was like ah, look, I have to I have to grab it try it out and the reason I've wanted to try one of these for a while is that it's a an affordable headless guitar as you can see no headstock there's the, where the headstock should be and um, it's a one of the first kind of apart from the old uh, Steinberger Spirit the, the Spirit licensed Steinberger uh, guitars from years ago uh, this is kind of one of the only really, truly budget headless uh, guitars on the market. So I really wanted to try one out. and uh, But I, I had read some dem reviews and stuff and seen some demos of the original version of this. Uh, and I was I was like, yeah, they've got some little issues they need to iron out first before I was willing to try one out. But they've seemed to have sorted a lot of that stuff. Uh, one of the ones that people complained about was the bridge here, if you can see, if I can zoom in on this. Those bridge for, um, tuners, they were individually bolted to the body, but now they're actually on a metal plate. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but they're raised up a little bit. Now, that caused another issue where people were saying the action was high. Now, I gave it a quick setup when I got it out of the box. Uh, treat the truss rod, adjusted all these little brass uh, height screws. Action's super low now, so, you know, that's not a problem. Um... Acoustically, it's quite zingy, it's quite bright. Brand new strings obviously out of the box. That's just you're hearing that off the microphone. It's a relatively loud guitar for, for an electric. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, obviously, the other, okay, uh, just to go back. The other reason I really wanted to check one of these out, this is an Indonesian built Headless guitar with a rosewood fret, uh, sorry, roasted maple fretboard, stainless steel frets, which is very like this guitar, which I've had for several years now. This is the Strandberg Bo uh, Classic Trem, uh, also built in Indonesia, uh, also with a roasted maple neck, um, stainless steel frets. So I really wanted to sort of compare them. Now this this guitar is, uh, I think they were fifth. Uh, 1599 brand new this guitar if you were buying it the brand new version not the B stock this is like 330 something euro or I think they were 399 they're a little bit less now um, and I got this for less than 300 euro on a B stock so big difference in price like you know 1200 euros of a difference in price so I was curious to try put them side by side and just have a quick uh, you know g give them a kind of a um, head to head so I'm going to run you through this and how it sounds and then we'll maybe just plug the Stramberg in and give a quick compare. Uh, so I just have a clean sound dialed in here. Um, I'll do clean. I'll do clean. I'll do all the pickup select sections, uh, uh, selections and then I'll do some distortion. So this is the clean sound uh, on the bridge pickup. I've got a little bit of delay and reverb, but that, other than that, it's clean. It's the bridge. Then the next selection is the um, outside coil of the bridge, this one, and the inside coil of the neck. It's quite uh, quite spanky, quite uh, te almost Telecaster-y kind of. Oh yeah, the, the other thing I must mention is the frets are really rough. They're stainless steel, but they're really rough. You can hear there's a lot of scratchiness to them if you can hear the microphone now that will probably go away as you play um, and they sort of polish themselves out but just out of the box it's very scratchy feeling uh, if I keep it or you know even if I might just if I'm going to sell it on or um, whatever I might just polish the frets uh, when, they, when they change the strings because yeah, the frets are just a bit rough uh, which you know doesn't feel great to play uh, so anyway, that was the this uh, outside coil and uh, inside coil of the neck. Uh, 
Uh, then we have the two humbuckers in parallel. Then we get the uh, neck pickup in parallel. So it's the both coils of the neck pickup, but in parallel. Again, quite, quite skinny, kind of thin sound. And then we get the full neck humbucker. Neck humbucker is actually pretty nice sounding. With the roll the tone back. Just that scratchiness, you can hear it in the microphone. If I kill my vocal mic, you can just hear just the guitar. So that's the, uh, that's the pickups on just a clean sound. Um, now, one other thing to note. These are quite stiff. And on the Strandberg, you can put an Allen key in the in, in, in here. And you can twist it that way. These are just finger finger uh, adjusted. And they're quite tight. So I'm just going to give it a quick tune here. So it's a little bit difficult to get them very accurate. Like that's really... Why tough to turn? Maybe they'll loosen up in time, or you could probably uh, screw them off and put a little bit of uh, oil, maybe to make them a bit easier to turn. Yeah, so that's the uh, clean, clean sounds. Um, put on a little bit of chorus here, and you can just hear it. it's quite and a bit of compression, and it's quite ple It's quite a decent sound. to the second position. That's the, all the clean sounds there with a, a little bit of chorus and delay. Or right, we'll hear a bit of some distortion, so br bridge pick up with distortion. <laughs> Quite bright, spiky kind of pickups. Um, again, I'd say it's because it's a cheap guitar. If you were going to keep, hold on to it, um, you could very, you know, easily factor in the price of a set of pickups. Um, probably change the, all the electronics, you know, the pots and the switches uh, for better quality stuff. Because the actual guitar, the neck is low. The, the neck shape is really nice. The the profile of it is really quite comfortable. It's a uh, it's not skinny. It's not a super skinny neck at all. Um, the roasted the roasted maple feels really smooth and nice. Uh, there's a tiny bit of flaming as well on the neck here. It's, it'd be hard to see in the camera, but uh, I don't think you're going to see that if I can get the light on it. 
a little bit, little bit of flame on that neck, um, which is, you know, it's nice. Uh, just aesthetically nice. It doesn't really matter to the playing of it, but um, the actual, like I said, the, the neck is comfortable. So it's, it's a nice size. It's a nice uh, shape. It's very even kind of full C, C shape, I guess you would call it. Okay, so some distortion sounds. <laughs> Let's roll back the volume a little bit. There seems to be a uh, one of those high pass filter capacitors probably on the wire to the volume pot because when you turn it down, it doesn't lose it. It doesn't get dark and it doesn't lose the top end. <laughs> Which is very uh, evident on the split split sound. So with the second position, uh, middle two humbuckers in it together. pickups are quite bright and biting sounding uh, if you want you know a guitar that's going to cut through it's pretty pretty good the pickups there's a good range of sounds decent range of sounds like I said a little bit a little bit sh um, sharp sounding um, again I suppose you could probably dial that out uh, I'll just give you one taste then of a kind of a heavily distorted lead sound with some delay um, to hear how it sounds like at that so here's some delay and lead sound. stuff um we'll plug in the strandberg now and compare so i'll go back to the clean sound and we'll just hear the strandberg in in comparison uh they're similar weight the strandberg is a tiny bit lighter uh i put them both on the scale the strandberg is like 200 grams lighter um even though i've i've got the straps and stuff on it and it's got a tremolo so it is a little bit lighter. It's also, it's a far more um, ergonomic design. I mean, the shape is, it's more modern, which might, you know, not, not be to your taste. The uh, the Dullahan might be more to your, your taste because it's a much more sort of traditional electric guitar shape, um, minus the headstock. It's still compact. They're similar in, uh, they're similar in, in kind of length, if you want to put it that way. Um, uh, same scale length, although the Strandberg has a, a fan fret, so it's uh, multi-scale. It's uh, 25 and a half inch on the low E string, and it's just 25. So only a half inch fan, but uh, 
it's some, the kind of thing you don't really notice. Now, of course, the the Sramberg famously has the Ender neck, which is this uh, three-planed um, neck, which has a, a flat section in the centre that's that sort of curves or moves up towards the higher frets as it moves from low to high, and then it has these two flat flat sides. It's a it's unknown, it's different. It's you get used to it. It's quite comfortable once you get used to playing it. Uh, if you're a real traditionalist, it might feel weird in your hand to have this sort of squareness, uh, you know, kind of hard edges on the neck. But if you're playing um, in sort of classical style with your thumb behind the neck, this flat section guides your thumb along here and keeps good, uh, you know, good hand position as you move higher up the frets. And um, yeah, you kind of get used to it. You can still throw your thumb over. Uh, if you want to, but so um, with that same clean sound that I had before, I'll just go through the, the Stromberg. Stromberg's not quite as bright, and which is un it's kind of notable in that the Stromberg's quite a bright sounding guitar compared to other guitars I have. Uh, this is the bridge and middle. single coil obviously it's a different pickup set um, layout so can't really compare them directly but uh, neck and middle this has the typical kind of you know HSS strat type uh, pickup switching and then we just get the neck pick up on its own So slightly, th these are Strandberg's own pickups. Um, uh, a little bit warmer sounding than the than the the the, the Dullahan. Um, again, there's a you know a thousand euro plus difference in price, so you know it's no surprise that this is sounds better. Um, the, f the finishing on the frets is you know hugely different. The these are super high polished, smooth, no scratchiness whatsoever. Um, the things like the well, the routing. There's no the I can't obviously can't see the pickup routing behind the scratch plate on this, but the pickup routing in the in the Dullahan it's it's okay. Uh, you know, it's it's a 400 euro guitar. It kind of looks it in a lot of ways. So uh, let's just hear some distortion with the Stramberg. Bridge pickup. and middle position. Uh, again, rolling back the volume, the, the Stramberg I think has a, a capacitor on the volume pot so you, you don't lose any high end when you roll back the volume. That's down to four. expensive guitar it feels more expensive um some of the cosmetics you know give away that it's more expensive but it's still in a lot of ways very similar it's it's a, an indonesian built uh headless guitar with a roasted maple fret uh, neck and fretboard stainless steel frets yeah the the dullahan i'll go back to the dullahan now it fee it, it's only 200 grams of a difference, but it does feel heavier. It's funny. It could be. It could be to do with the shape, I guess. Um, 
I mean, it's still a very light guitar. You can still, you know, it's 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 very compact and light. If you were looking for something to travel with, this is probably a great option, uh, or you know, at least a viable option. Um, if you're a traditionalist, as far as necks, you might find the neck on this much more sort of acceptable. Uh, in that it's a very, tr like I said, traditional C shape, quite not skinny at all. Um, very comfortable neck. Re I'm really quite impressed with the neck. Just the fret work. The uh, the edges of the frets are, you know, they're sharp. The Strandberg, they're very rounded. They're very highly polished. Uh, the scratchiness. That's that's kind of it's it. You know, it's it's typical of cheap guitars, especially stuff that's, you know, uh, beginner or budget. They tend to come out of the box. They've had no fret polishing or, or dressing of, of any real... The frets are just pressed in and it's put in a box and sent off. Uh, so if you spend a bit of time polishing the frets, you know, you probably improve the playability quite a bit. Um, but as far as the sounds go, I'm not... I'm not unimpressed. Um, the, uh, the pickups are a little bright. like that uh, outside bridge and inside neck it's very spanky sounding and the neck parallel sound is nice too a little bit rounder probably be nice with some a uh, little bit of overdrive let's try that uh, I was hearing something funny it's the I haven't taken the plastic off the pickups. It's a, like I said, it's a it's a it's a budget guitar. It's kind of a fun and interesting thing. Uh, don't know if I'm going to keep it. Let's see how I if it grows on me, I might hold on to it. You never know. I might sell this Ramberg and keep this. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's not a bad looking guitar. The sh the body shapes Strat esque, but it's kind of its own thing too. It's not really. I couldn't necessarily say it's a direct copy of any particular body shape. And. Uh, I, I like headless guitars. I think they're kind of modern and cool. Um, they're not everyone's taste. A lot of people just don't like them at all. Um, which is fair enough. You know, that's the beauty of guitars. There's something for everybody. But, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If, uh, if anyone wants any particular questions answered about it, you know, let me know. Um, leave a question in the comments. Or, uh, you know, if you want me to run it through particular types of sounds or something again, um, I can do that. And uh, until the next time, thanks for watching and um, see you again.